In this video series, 3D MedNet is with 3D Life Prints at Alder Hay Children's Hospital in Liverpool. We're talking to surgeons about how 3D printing helps them solve the most difficult of cases. In this video, we're talking to Rafael Guerrero. He's discussing how 3D printing has helped him solve the most complex of cases. Right. My name is Rafael Guerrero. I'm a consultant cardiac surgeon or pediatric cardiac surgeon. I'm director of cardiac services for the whole Northwest of England. The challenge that we have as clinicians, especially as a heart surgeon in small kidney, is one is the, the multiple malformation of the heart. So the heart can have just as simple as a hole in the heart or can be upside down, could be connected the pipes to the wrong place, etc. And the fact that you have that in tiny hearts, which are probably as small as strawberry, then you, you, you will not be able to visualize them properly. At the moment, we rely on x-ray, we rely on CT scans and echocardiograms, but we I thought that probably if we can print them, analyze the, the different malformations. Three things I can do is one is obviously I can plan my operation better, I can explain to the parents or patients in a better way, and I obviously I can uh, teach and train other people for that. For example, this, this model is, uh, this is an incredibly rare malformation of the heart, in which some, some of the pipes of the heart are coming completely from the wrong place, they are absent, etc. And with this one, we can once we print it, I can look inside before even doing the operation and I can uh, locate where are the holes, the size of the holes, the position. Then I can locate if the arteries are coming from the wrong place, how can I put it together and in the, in the actual size rather than in an enlarged model. So those are the, the advantages that I can take from this. So this model is, is a very unusual malformation of the heart and this is called Troncos arteriosus and interrupted aortic arch. And uh, in this case, which has happened probably two or three times a year in the whole country, in the whole United Kingdom, that put us in a, in a very, very rare malformation, which is lethal. So if you don't operate these kids, they, they will not survive the first week of life or so. So they need to be operated very soon after, an oper after they are born. So the operation we need to do is we need to open the, obviously stop the heart, open the heart from inside, put small patches inside to divert the blood in the right direction, disconnect areas that are not in the right position, and replump everything if you want to call it in that way. So the benefits of having a 3D printed model of this is for different things, for us to have a better idea before actually doing the operation of how it looks like, how it looks inside, how we are going to plan the operation, to teach the trainees, the cardiac surgeons, trainees in the country, how we're supposed to be doing this. So the diagnosis quite often is done antenatally. So meaning before the babies are born, we will know more or less an idea that something is not right. As soon as they are born, a scan of the heart will be done, which will confirm the malformation. So even in the scenario in which we want to have a, a design of this very quickly, that you know, within probably two days of being born, you can have the data or the CT scan study to be provided a, a 3D printing if you want to do it before an operation. But they were so welcoming, the parents, because they actually could understand what was wrong with their babies. One of the things that they are quite uh, stunned is about the size. They never realized that was so small and how can we do procedures in such a small parts of the heart. So they are incredibly welcoming and I think that the future has to be to educate the patients and not just the clinical staff, but to educate the patient that in the same way that you order something, I think that they, they will have the right to, to, uh, to be supplied with a 3D printed model. 